Hi, Daryl with Banner Engineering. In this video, I'll cover our laser gauging sensors principle of operations. In other words, the technology and the techniques that we use uh, to make these sensors so accurate. We have two different techniques, triangulation and time of flight. Starting with triangulation here on the far left, uh, as you see, we have a laser emitter emitting light on the bottom. As it hits this target, it returns back to what is a CMOS array that has many pixels in it. And as you can see here, it hits up towards the top of that array. But as the target backs off from the center, there's another angle where it hits a little bit lower spot on this array. Triangulation sensors determine the range uh, based on this position of the light hitting the array. What's nice about triangulation is this is a very, very accurate way of detecting a target. We can go from 25 millimeters out to 3 meters with this technique. If you need to see beyond 3 meters, then we go to time of flight. Time of flight is the technique we use where we actually clock the speed of light. In other words, once a uh, pulse leaves the sensor, we clock how long it takes that light to come back. The nice thing about this is we can go out to 24 meters. So if we take a closer look at this, here's our Q4X sensor. Again, on the bottom is the laser emitter. Uh, up at the top is the CMOS pixel array. Uh, we happen to be showing you two of them here, uh, the ones that we use in our 300 millimeter range sensor and the ones that we use in the 610 millimeter range. You'll notice that the 610 is more granular. There's more pixels there. That's why this sensor has the same repeatability as the 300 uh, sensor at twice the range. So again, if we look at this, light leaves the emitter, hits the target, comes back, and depending on where it hits on this array, we're able to very accurately gauge the distance of that target from the sensor. Now with the 610, you'll notice that light might be crossing over uh, multiple pixels, but that's okay. Our algorithm allows us to monitor that very accurately so we know which pixel is getting the most light, again, allowing us to very accurately gauge the distance. So again, out beyond three meters, we need to go to time of flight. So we know the speed of light, over 186,000 miles per second. So the sensor is very accurate. Once the pulse leaves, we're clocking how long it takes to hit the target and come back to the sensor. Just wrapping up the advantages or disadvantages of these technologies, triangulation, typically used for short range, 25 millimeters out to three meters. Uh, it has better resolution with our LM family. We can get down to two microns. And you can put them in a very compact housing. Uh, and we have uh, our Q4X, which is IP69K rated. If you're beyond three meters, time of flight gets us out to 24 meters with our LTF. And we also have, just so you're aware of it, sensors that go out to 50 meters and even 250. Now these are some of our legacy products, um, but just so you're aware of that. The nice thing about the LTF is it's newer technology. In fact, it has best in class range, repeatability, and accuracy. Another unique thing that we do with our lasers is we have automatic gain compensation. So let's just say that our sensor is seeing a, a shiny target, which typically can saturate the receiver our sensor will automatically turn down the gain so that we accurately see that target. Likewise, if it sees a dark target, it will automatically boost the laser uh, light energy so that it sees that target uh, accurately. Another nice thing is different sensors have different spot sizes. So if you need very precise reading where you need to detect the peak of a target but ignore its valley, uh, certain sensors will allow you to do that. We have other sensors that have a wider spot size, like our LTF, that will allow you to do some averaging over rough surfaces if that's what you need. And again, just to wrap this up, with this technology, we're able to see dark targets out at a long range and even clear targets. Very precisely, we can detect shiny objects with no issues. And again, LTF, long range detection, very reliably, even at, at an angle. So that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.